hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today's topic is heel pain or heel spurs you know and but before starting this topic i would like to request you to subscribe this channel uh, for more informative videos every day now a heel spur is uh, a pointed bony outgrowth of the bone of the heel you know and uh, uh, the heel spurs are attributed to the chronic local inflammation uh, at the insertion of the soft tissue tendons and the heel spurs can be located at the back of the heel uh, or under the heel as well you know and uh, uh, been as the sole of the foot as well now heel spurs at the back of the heel are frequently associated with inflammation of the uh, uh, ankle's tendon which is known as uh, tendinitis you know and the cause uh, uh, tenderness and pain at the back of the heel uh, it's made worse while uh, pushing off uh, the ball of the foot you know and the heel spurs uh, under the sole are associated with inflammation of the plantar fascia you know and uh, you know the heel spurs and the plantar uh, fasciitis can occur alone or uh, be related to underlying diseases uh, uh, that cause arthritis or such as uh, reactive arthritis or uh, uh, diffuse epithelial skeletal uh, uh, hyper uh, osteosis you know which is known as DISH dish you know and uh, ankylosing uh, spondylitis and it's important to note that uh, the heel spurs may cause no symptoms uh, and maybe incidentally discovered during the x-ray exams which are taken for any other reason you know now the heel spurs are diagnosed uh, based on the history of the pain and the tenderness uh, and they are specifically identified when there is a and there is point tenderness at the bottom of the heel you know and which makes it difficult to walk barefooted or uh, on the tiles or on the floor you know and your doctor will perform the physical examination and uh, he will ask the questions about the history and uh, then he will advise imaging tests like uh, x-rays or CT scan or MRI you know now what's diagnosed uh, then uh, the heel sperms are treated by the myers that decrease uh, the inflammation and avoid the injury you know and the localized application uh, reduce pain and inflammation and the anti-inflammatory medications such as uh, brufon or uh, uh, injections of the cortisone are often helpful you know and there are some uh, orthotic devices or the shoe inserts which can also be used to take the pressure off the plantar spurs you know and the heels lift can uh, reduce the stress on the uh, area you know so uh, which is helpful to reduce the pain and the inflammation uh, surgery is uh, uh, very infrequent you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition uh, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day just keep watching goodbye